hello guys in this video we'll be seeing the event handling in tkinter that is when the user clicks some button in the keyboard or when he moves the mouse button or he presses the mouse button that is the button one two three and so on so the first thing which i want you to do is to import the tkinter library and create a basic window and then what i'm going to do is that uh, whenever the user clicks the mouse button a message will be displayed in the window so for doing that i'm going to set this geometry as 500 cross 500 and then what i'm going to do is to create a function that is click and inside here i'm going to create a new label so label of that is going to go inside the root window inside the root and the text is is equals to uh, mouse button click and then i'm going to pack it inside the window okay since this function is defined now we have to create a uh, 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 so since the function is created and then what we have to do is to create a link between the mouse button and the take into window so that whenever the user presses the button one that is the left button of the mouse this uh, label is that the text that the mouse button is clicked is displayed in the uh, take into window so for doing that what we have to do is root dot bind that is i want this bind function to work for the root window and inside of the root which uh, button are we specifying so for doing that i'm going to uh, create a first string and instead of that string we have to give the angular brackets and next what we have to give is button one so in this there are three types that is button one button two and button three button one is the left button and the of the mouse and the button 2 is the middle button that is the scrolling button and button 3 is the right button and then whenever this button is clicked what is the function we have to call that is a, that is going to be a second parameter so that's going to be click and in this case we just can't give this function there as a way and we have to specify the, uh, an another uh, parameter which is called as event that is going to contain the uh, x values and y values at which the mouse is clicked at where at which place the mouse is clicked so when i run this yeah so the first uh, from, uh, uh, the window is created and whenever i left click the uh, button you can see that the mouse button is clicked also we can do it like this for the right button the command will be button 2 and i'm just going to name that as uh, click 1 and i'm going to copy this and i'm just going to i'm um, here i'm just going to have the as left mouse button and here i'm going to have that as right mouse button so it should be button 3 and the third one for button 2 So I'm going to name that as button click 2 and in here I'm going to create another event that is other function which will display that the middle mouse button clicked. Yeah, so here it should be click 1 and here it should be click 2. So when I run this, so I'm clicking the left button, so it is giving me that the left button is clicked. I'm now uh, pressing the center button. Uh, that is the I mean sorry the right button and it is giving me that the right button is clicked so this is how it works and next thing which we are going to see is the what is the use of this event button so uh, okay so when I'm whenever I'm running this I'm just going to remove this for now and in case if you don't know what is the use of this event button I'm just going to print that uh, event dot 
x and event dot y the event this variable is not a fixed value you can even uh, give whatever the values which you want and for this uh, video purpose i'm using this uh, variable as event so whenever I'm, I'm running this you can see in the screen that i'm pressing the left button from here and you can see it gives the x coordinate and y coordinate i'm going to press the button from here and it gives me that the 492 comma 492 and if i press it from here it should give me that 0 comma 0 yeah so it gives that 0 comma 0 so that is the the that the uh, event that variable that parameter contains the x value and y value at the place where the mouse button is clicked okay so the next thing which we are going to see is the same like this button it is there for all the keys in the keyboard that is if I, in, in case if i want to use the uh, button a i can directly give that this button a is clicked and in here now this won't contain the x and y values instead it will contain what button is pressed so for this i'm going to give the rep uh, r as a event so whenever this a button is clicked i'm going to pr print that a clicked and uh, in, in here event dot char okay so when i run this i'm now going to press a and you can see that the event dot chr return the value a so in here this event dot character represents the uh, which key is pressed so we can't just uh, do like root dot bind for b button for c button for a, a d button we can't do that will take a lot of lines of code so for simplification purpose what i'm going to do is to create a, but a function which is called as def and instead of here in here i'm just going to name that as click and Went and in here I'm going to pre uh, print rest comma r r e p r of event dot c h a r yeah so for in the bind function what I'm going to do is root dot bind we can generally give it as a key and next it is click yeah so when i run this it gives me some error that should be key yeah it is a capital k and i'm just pressing the uh, letter a and it gives me that it pressed a so now i'm going to press e and it gives me a press e i'm going to press space it is giving that empty space and this it gives me a comma and when i press one it is giving me that press one so in this way you can do whatever the uh, key you want so it won't take a lot of line to write the code and in case if you don't know what this repr does is that it does the job similar to what that eval function does uh, it will get the value which is stored in that event so instead of doing this we can also do evolve evolve of in the strings we can give this so when i run this this also will give me the same function that is i'm going to press it press the uh, letter q and it, gi it gives me that it is printing q and next i'm going to print uh, press p and it gives me it is p so that's how this uh, evolve function works I have this website which I am referring, and in this website, it gives uh, you can, you can uh, refer this website for the uh, various uh, functions which is there using this bind function. And like this uh, double button one, uh, this b1 dot uh, uh, button one that is the mouse button left button, and this b1 dot motion that is used when the uh, button one is held and it is moved inside the uh, screen and uh, next one it is the button release that is that whenever i am pressing the button uh, left button of the mouse and then uh, while i am releasing it that represents the button release one and this double button one that is the double click of the left mouse and this enter that is the enter key or 
that is in that that um, for enter key it is written and enter that represents that uh, whenever we enter into the some widget that is whenever we enter into a entry field something like that and next is the leave that is whenever uh, we change the focus from one widget to next widget it gives uh, the we can use this function called as leave and then is the focus in and focus in represents whenever we are uh, changing the focus into some uh, widget and the focus out represents whenever we are change, taking the focus out of some widget and the return is the uh, uh, that is the use for uh, enter key and similar to that that is backspace tab return shift that is the left shift and the left control and then uh, ne next is the pass and f1 f2 f3 etc and the key as i told you it represents the general character it prints whatever the key is pressed and uh, that, that the, and then you can refer this website for if you have any doubts and the next thing which we are going to do is go back to that login page which we have created and yeah this is the login page which we have created So you can see that uh, normally whenever uh, I'm, I type something in here, I have to manually uh, take the mouse pointer and then press it over here to enter the next one and then click the login button in order to log in. So in order to uh, make, uh, I, uh, I just want to type something, some text and then press the enter button so that it moves to the next, uh, next uh, function, that is a password entry. So for doing that, what we have to do is over uh, in here i'm going to do, uh, add that command which is called as uh, and the entry field since the first uh, since it is in this uh, entry field and from here i want the mouse pointer to move to the second entry field that is from e1 entry field i want to move, move it to the e2 entry field so for doing that what i'm going to do is that e1 dot bind and in here it is return and the next function i'm going to call is change so left change of event And in here, what I'm going to do is e2 dot focus. What this dot focus does is that it changes the focus from one widget to next widget. Yeah. So whenever I run this, I'm just going to type Python and I'm pressing enter. You can see that the focus changes from the e1 widget to the e2 widget. And then, uh, and then after typing the password, when I type enter, I want the login process to take on. Uh, till now, we did that using only by pressing the login button. But now I want it by pressing the enter button also. So for doing that, what we have to do is e2 dot bind return. That is for the entry key. And what I want to check is this submit function. So in here, I'm going to uh, give that command called as event and in here i'm going to call that function as submit and one more place we have to change make the changes that is in the login button in here i'm going to command equals to lambda i'm going to use the lambda function lambda of submit in here i'm going to pass none since we don't have any 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 event taking place, I'm passing the variable none. Yeah. So, and I'm typing Python, pressing enter. It changes the focus from the E1 entry field to E2 entry field. And then one two three the password, and I'm pressing the enter. Yeah. So it gives that the login is successful. And when I log out, I'm just typing some random variable. Yeah. So it tells that the account is not registered. 
so that's how you use the bind function and the basic event handling in tkinter and in case if you guys have any doubt related to these videos feel free to ask this doubt in the comment box and i'll get back to you as soon as possible and also i'll i'm, I'm going to leave this website link in the description and that's it for the video guys and if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos and click the bell icon for more notifications thank you for watching